Washington's football team. The team is now responding to allegations of a toxic culture that includes sexual harassment. The Washington Post reports 15 women accused former employees of harassment from 2006 to 2019. News 4 spoke about the report with an attorney who has handled some of the most high profile sexual harassment cases in the country. Aaron joins us now live with more on this story. Aaron, good morning to you. Hey, on good morning. We're told there is now an, imp an independent review of what's going on inside this football organization. Uh, according to the Washington Post, 15 women accused former team employees of sexual harassment and verbal abuse. Three team officials were named in the report. Two have been fired in the last several weeks and the third retired. Now, the allegations include unwelcome overtures and comments of a sexual nature. Only one woman is named in the article, Emily Applegate. She says her year with the team was a miserable experience. Applegate and the other women say they were encouraged to wear tight clothing, and they describe the sexual harassment and verbal abuse as relentless. They also allege the abuse was ignored and in some cases condoned by team executives. News 4 spoke with attorney Deborah Katz. She's been referred to as one of the nation's top hashtag me too lawyers. Katz says it's not unusual in her experience that only one alleged victim spoke on the record in the Post article. There's a reason and that reason is it's a way that women get isolated and made to feel that they have no power and that if they come forward it's dangerous and not only will they lose their jobs but they could suffer significant financial penalties. Now, the team released a statement saying, quote, the Washington Redskins football team takes issues of employee conduct seriously. While we do not speak to specific employee situations publicly, when new allegations of conduct are brought forward that are contrary to these policies, we address them promptly. Now, there are no specific allegations involving the team owner, Dan Snyder, but the report blames him for a culture of verbal abuse. An outside law firm is reviewing the allegations right now, as well as the team's culture and policies. On in our next half hour, reaction to the Post article from the team's new head coach, Ron Rivera.